Setting the frame is a, is a concept that I pioneered and codified a, a couple months ago when I or a few months ago when I started writing this ebook. The idea is that in the first two minutes of an intera interaction, a lot is determined. And I think we probably all have an intuitive sense of that. When you meet someone and you make a first impression, if you really charm the person, it can be in any context, it doesn't have to be dating, if you make a really favorable impression, that often lasts. And you feel, oh, I, I, this person likes me, uh, we have a good energy. You can go back to that relationship again and again, and pretty much that initial feeling and that initial attitude and sentiment is preserved. Likewise, if, it's, if somehow it's fumbled and you have an awkward or poor initial interaction, you're not going to want to see that person that many times. It's, it's, it's a difficult thing to get a, a new start. The, um, the same is true in relationships, dating relationships, and, and, and I'll do a little thought experiment with you here in a minute. If you have a very strong, positive, male-driven interaction and she responds, you've pretty much done most of the work. You just need to carry that through to its conclusion. Likewise, if you approach and you're timid and you fumble and you're unsure of yourself and for some reason oftentimes she won't give the number for example but for say for some reason for argument's sake it does work out uh, in terms of connecting and she sees you that way but she decides to go ahead you're gonna be in that she's gonna view you that way you're gonna be in that sort of trapped in that paradigm so the importance of this is that pick up or initial meeting is not something trivial you know often when Often when you meet a couple that's been married a long time, a question is like, well, how did you guys meet? And the woman's eyes will get big and she'll tell a whole story about, oh, he did this and that. Meetings are very, very important. They're one of the most important parts of a relationship. Even a relationship that's five or six years or longer, the, the first impression is key because that sets so much of how we think about these, uh, each other. So let me give you a story of two marriages. They're... If you could imagine two different folks, we'll call one guy Bob and one guy Stephen. If you were to look at them at the beginning and you would see how Bob approached his, his wife and he approached her at the salad bar at a restaurant really confident and she started laughing and he put his arm around her and he was just all this positive masculine energy and she was, she was basically like looking into his eyes beaming and he teased her about her salad and maybe added a couple extra tomatoes or took a few off and teased her about the dressing and this and that. They had a nice rapport. That's Bob's initial meeting with his wife. If you were to go forward 10 years and they're married and you asked her, well, how are you guys doing? How'd you, how'd you meet? Her eyes would light up. She would tell the whole story. And you could probably, to a high degree of certainty, tell that their marriage is probably still dominated by that dynamic. He's probably still very confident, assertive with her. There's probably a, some cockiness into it. He's definitely wearing the pants in the relationship, I would think. And she plays a feminine role and, and succumbs or enjoys his dominant male presence. And all of that could have been seen in the initial, initial meeting. right? In the first five minutes of them interacting, if you had to guess, it's just amplified forward the next 10 or 20 years. And that dynamic is pretty much set. The other guy, I think we call him Steven, he met his wife at a carnival, say, and he kind of walked up to her like this and was like, hey, you know, and, and like kind of made some conversation and she was looking at him and feeling a little bit sorry. He maybe said something funny and she said, oh, he's cute, you know, but she didn't feel lustful, but she, she felt like not threatened by him and he persisted and she finally was like, there was nothing else going on at the carnival. There were no other guys around and he pet, he pestered her enough and she's finally like, all right, if, stop asking me, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll go for coffee with you finally. And it was kind of lackluster and anyhow, for, somehow he hooked her at uh, this guy Stephen and, and years later, they're married and years later you ask her how they meet and she would tell, maybe she would embellish it a bit, but she would tell kind of a story about, ah, uh, he was a, and I still hear this with my, my, my mother's friends. You can hear when you ask people how they met, some wives will say, um, <coughs> Some wives will say, oh, my silly husband, he was more or less such a loser when I met him, and he was, he was playing in a band, and he thought he could get girls, but that's no way. He, he definitely, he was so lucky to get me, and she's very cocky about it. And you hear them say that they're like 60s years, and I could guess at the dynamic of their relationship. Other dynamics 
you ask and you hear the wife talk about her husband and it's just full of admiration and, and appreciation for this strong man and you, you hear that story told. So with this guy Stephen from the carnival, I bet if I fast forward it and ask and examine their marriage, she's probably set, feels a little bit like she's settled. He, she probably wears the pants. He most likely still displays that same timidity and shyness in the relationship. He often feels when he thinks about his choices in life that he's lucky to have this girl in his life, that, that, that he couldn't do any better, that this is, that, that if they were to break up, he'd be on lost, uh, lost ground, he would be confused, like basically he's very dependent on her and this is a thought experiment but I, I'm, I'm quite certain there's a high degree of certainty to that and all of that was determined and read into the first five minutes of the interaction. So I tell you all this to say that don't dismiss how you interact with a woman and what transpires in the first minute or two because that's going to set the frame as it says here for how a lot of this stuff is going to play out in the future.